So the factor theorem is really just a test to determine whether or not a minus x is a factor of p of x. So if we have a polynomial and we're just trying to determine the factor, what that means is if a minus x is a factor of the polynomial, then p of a is equal to zero. Now again, this is just a lot of math mumbo jumbo confusing language just to tell you that if the a value, you plug it into the polynomial and you'll get zero, that means that the x minus a is a factor, but this is just a special case of the remainder theorem where we're trying to find out where what values give a remainder equal to zero. And that's all this is. It's just an extension of the remainder theorem where we're trying to find a remainder equal to zero. So let's look at this in a couple of examples. So we want to determine whether each of the following binomials are factors of this polynomial. And remember, according to the factor theorem, if it is a factor, then when you plug it into the polynomial, you plug the a value into the polynomial, we're going to get a remainder of zero. If it's a remainder of anything but zero, it is not a factor. So let's look at the first one. We're trying to figure out if our binomial is x minus two, we're trying to put two into the polynomial. So we're going to have two cubed minus six times two squared plus three times two plus ten. So we want to determine if this remainder is equal to zero. So we get eight minus, uh, now remember we got the order of operations, so two squared is four times six is negative twenty-four plus six plus ten. So we get six plus eight is fourteen plus ten is twenty-four. 24 minus 24 is equal to zero. So this is a definite yes. For A, x minus 2 is a factor of the polynomial. So let's just try B. So we're going to now, in this case, we're going to put negative 1. And again, we're just plugging it in. If it turns out to be a factor, great. If not, or if it is a factor, then the remainder is going to be equal to zero. So we're just going to have negative one cubed minus six times negative one squared plus three times negative one plus ten. Now this is a factor. Negative one cubed is negative one. Uh, negative one squared is one times negative six is negative six minus three plus ten and look at that. That's all equal to zero, so yes, that's a factor as well. So those two are pretty easy. Now let's look at this one, three x minus two. Now remember, if we're trying to determine what the a value is, we want to go back and set this equal to zero solve for x, and that tells you that our a value, or what we're putting into our polynomial, is 2 over 3. So we want to do p of 2 thirds. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug in 2 thirds into the polynomial and try and solve this. So we're going to have two-thirds cubed minus six times two-thirds squared plus three times two-thirds plus ten. So let's expand this all out. So when we cube this thing, we're going to get 2 cubed, which is 8 over 27. And we're going to minus 6 times 2 thirds squared becomes 4 over 9. Plus, when we're multiplying this through, remember 3 times 2 thirds is like 3 over 1. So we're going to get 6 
over 3 plus 10. So we're going to get 8 over 27 minus 24 over 9 plus 2 plus 10. Now, to figure this out, we have to put them all over the same denominator. So we're going to get 8 over 27 minus, now we have to multiply top and bottom of this fraction by 3, because we're going to get 27 on the bottom, and negative 72 plus 12. So at this point, we have to keep going here and now figure this out. Now, here's where we can actually do something, because we're not concerned, again, what the remainder is. All we're concerned about is, is it equal to 0? So 8, if we go uh, 8 minus 72, that's going to give us negative 66 over 27. Plus, we need to put 12 over 27. So we've got to multiply 12 by 27. Now, this is going to turn out to be a big number, because 12 times 27 is 324. And at this point, we can just stop, because we can just say <laughs> that's not equal to 0. Negative 66 minus plus 324, we can go through and figure out what it all turns out to be. Uh, yeah, let's make this number the right number here, Six, negative 64. We can make it go through and do all the calculations, but it's not going to matter because it's just going to be something really, there's going to be something negative and something really large positive, and we're not going to be equal to zero. So we can say that this is not a factor. And that's all we need to do if we're determining whether it's a factor or not. We're going to get into a little more detail when we're factoring it, but right now we can say that that's not a factor because the remainder is not equal to zero.